welcome to itrafic in this video i am going to explain some python programs which is important for class 8 computer science our first program is we have to create a we have to write a python script to create a guess the number game here uh, the computer will generate a random number and the user have to guess that number if the user can correctly guess then it should display winner or it should display try again or something else so to do this program first uh, we will <coughs> take uh, import a file that file is random we will write import random means on that random module we have some functions uh, which we are going to use it here and one variable here we are storing the random number that variable name is com num means computer number next we will again uh, in function we will write random dot rand range in range we will give the range at what range we want the random number here 1 and 11 that means the starting number is 1 and ending is 10 and one user number that uh, whatever user input here and that variable name is user num and uh, by using input statement and int we will take this input now we will compare the computer number with the user number if both are equal we will print it as winner <coughs> or we will print it as try again or we, will, we can also display the computer generated number Our next program is to accept marks of 4 subjects and we have to calculate the total marks and percentage. First we will take the input of all the subjects, first computer equal int and input enter the marks of computer like that we will take marks of 4 subjects. this way we will take input of four subjects after that we have to calculate the total and you might ask why i am using int everywhere before the print of uh, input statement because we have to convert whatever user entered into integer that's why we are writing here integer if we want to convert into decimal number then we'll write here float now we'll calculate the total by writing total equal com plus eng plus math plus hindi after that we have to do we have to take out the percentage for that we will write total divide 4 after that we will print both the variable
Our next program is we have to write a Python program. Here we have to accept username and password from the user and we'll compare whether it is username is ABCD and password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or not. If it is matching with this, then we'll display a message that access granted. Otherwise, we'll display a message as access denied. For that, we will take two variables UN and PW. There we'll store ABCD and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. After that, we'll take input of username and password. For that, we'll write username equal input, enter username and password equal input, enter password. After that, we'll compare both uh, like username with PUN and password with PW. If both the conditions are true, then we are going to display access granted. For that, uh, we will use AND operator to combine two relational expression. And if the conditions is false, if anyone or both the condition false, then it will display access denied. Our next program is we have to accept two numbers from the user and we have to compare both the numbers uh, and we have to display the greatest number. For that uh, we will take two numbers from the user by using input statement. After that we are going to compare. First we will compare the first number with the second one. If it is greater then we will display that first number is greater. After that again we will display the second number with the first one. If it is greater we will display second is greater. If both the condition false, then we are going to display that both numbers are equal. So this way we are going to do this program uh, and here are the codes.
our next program is we have to write a python program to print the multiplication table of a number which is entered by the user for that first we'll take a variable n and we'll take it from the user after that we are going to use for loop here for i int in range 1 and 11 because we are starting from 1 and we'll go till 10 that's why 11 after that we'll write the printf statement that and for this program just the printf statement is little tricky you have to be careful variable you have to write without inverted comma and the multiply symbol and equal symbol you have to write in within the inverted comma then it will work fine <coughs> That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.